We are a full service architecture, engineering, and interior design team. Um, we do all sorts of commercial projects, um, architecture, structural. Um, we do, uh, like I said, commercial, in interiors, residential, a little bit of residential, um, industrial, hospital work, hospitality, just about everything that you can think of as far as architecture. Um, and we've done things all over Rockford and all over the nation. Andrew Macklin, I'm an architect at Larson and Darby Group. Um, I always liked art and it was always a great, well, I wasn't great, but I, <laughs> I was a good drawer. I loved sketching. Um, I took art lessons and painting, sketching, and it was something that always interests me. So I pursued that a little bit in high school and you know, developed some my skills a little more in, in art classes. Um, I took some drafting courses and I thought, oh, this is kind of fun. I like building things. I was always tinkering around in my dad's wood shop and building things. So it kind of fit hand in hand there between the uh, artistic side and the kind of the skill side. So um, when I went to school initially, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I fell in with a group of architects, fortunately, and or architectural students and thought, man, this, this would be great. So I got into the program at school and got my uh, Bachelor of Architecture degree and then went on, got my experience and took the exams to become a licensed architect. Um, it really varies day to day. A lot of days I'll come in, get some things done, send off some emails, um, see how some of my different teams are going, um, see how different projects are going, what emails I've got coming in and going out. There's a lot of correspondence between the owners and contractors and different team members and keeping everybody coordinated. That's really one of the primary functions of my job is to really coordinate all the different people involved in the design and construction team. So depending on which project I'm looking at at that time and where that project is in its process, whether it's in design or construction or somewhere in between, um, there's a, a myriad of different things I could be doing for that project. And so you have to be pretty versatile in what you do day to day. Some days I'll be out on the job site uh, working directly with contractors. Other days I'll be working directly with the owner, figuring out what they want, putting together um, different materials or samples for, th for them to look at, doing some research on what's allowed by code and light health and life safety. Um, so it, it does vary day to day and that's one of the things I really like about the job is that it's not the same thing every day and every day has its new challenges. Um, you're dealing with teams of people every day so you got to be able to work with people. Um, understanding different people's needs and uh, different things to look for in your team members to help them shine is really critical. Um, strong understanding of math and having some creativity drive is definitely critical as well. Um, if you don't have the creative ability, you usually get weeded out in school. Um, you won't make it through the design processes. Um, but having a strong background in math and creativity um, art, anything like that is definitely beneficial. I'd say there's quite a bit of opportunity for growth um, when you start out right out of school. Um, the school knowledge is great. The things that you pick up in school are, are useful, but getting your hands dirty on a job and learning true real world experience is critical. So um, once you get into a position and a firm like ours where we'll put you right into the job sites right off the bat. We'll take you to construction meetings. You can see buildings going up from the ground. You can take part in the design of those buildings and then see them actually coming to fruition. Um, getting that experience is critical and that's one of the things that we really develop in our, in our new hires. Definitely get into some art classes and even private classes if you can. Um, just develop that skill as much as you can as, as possible it's going to come in really handy to have a, a background in some of the artistic um, methods that you can put to work when you get into college. Uh, the other part of it would also be understanding construction trades. If you have a chance to work on a job site um, doing construction uh, for a local company or something like that, even if it's just grunt work, manual labor, to be able to see how buildings are constructed and how materials are used is a tremendous asset.